Hello guys and welcome to Body Sthenics. I'm George, Body Sthenics Coach. Today we're gonna to take you through the three most important exercises in calisthenics. Let's go. You can do this through Body Sthenix. Nowadays, we often see calisthenics athletes begin the sport with an unawareness of where to start. I mean, let's face it, most of us began calisthenics either because we saw a motivational video online, or others may have been doing weight training in a traditional way in a gym, and may have found it more interesting to do pull-ups as opposed to lat pull-downs on a bench. But regardless of what the cause was for beginning calisthenics, for most of us, there was no set path on how to progress correctly and safely. So we at Bodysthenics decided to create this video to outline what we believe are the three most important exercises you should focus on when beginning calisthenics. You should aim towards becoming really good at these three regardless of your training history or strength level in calisthenics at this current time. If you have already begun calisthenics, the good news is that you will already have built some fundamental strength in order to become great faster at these three exercises. So without further ado, let's get into the three most important exercises in calisthenics. The three most important exercises in calisthenics are the muscle up, the handstand, and the dragonfly. Now you may ask, why is it that these three specific exercises are the most important? So let's get straight into the reasons why these three are the most important exercises in calisthenics, especially for a beginner starting out. Firstly, because these three exercises cover all the possible anatomical performance planes involved in all movements which we perform in calisthenics. So let's jump into further details regarding the first three exercises of the top three. Firstly, let's begin with a muscle up. The muscle up covers both pull and push in the vertical hanging body position. The muscle up helps you build phenomenal pull and pushing strength on the bar making it a hybrid movement and the complete calisthenics exercise. It's ideal for helping you build overall upper body strength and performance when on the bar. It works three major muscle groups at once, the lats, the chest and of course the shoulders. It also gets your entire arm super strong and conditioned. Working just the muscle up alone and its variations can allow you to perform a complete upper body workout, which can bring you tremendous benefits to your overall strength, endurance, and performance in calisthenics. Another reason why the muscle up is such an important exercise is because it consists of many different variations. This is extremely beneficial as it enables you to build strength in your shoulders through multiple rotations, depending on your grip, and hand placements. Muscle ups can be performed slowly, but they also can be performed explosively in both narrow and wide hand grips. The first go-to exercise in order to get you on your way to achieving your first bodyweight bar muscle up is the band assisted muscle up using strict form. The key with this exercise is to firstly always remain close to the band and do not create any separation between the band and your body. Secondly, your timing must be on point by pulling back and diagonally up and over the bar and the exact same movement in reverse on the way down. Do not bounce into the band on the way down as this will give you too much spring on the way up, making the exercise too easy. Ensure that you perform this exercise with full control and try to imagine that the band is not there helping you. The second exercise are the high pull-ups using the band and your body weight. The aim in this exercise is to use the same philosophy as we do in the band assisted muscle up, but without performing the transition. Essentially with this exercise, we are building strength in the pulling phase only and getting used to the initial explosive pulling phase in order to increase our height over the bar over time. You can start off with the high pull ups to the chest 
and as you build strength over time, try to get the bar all the way down to your waist. Remember, the movement pattern should be performed exactly the same as you would in the band assisted muscle up and nothing different. We are still pulling diagonally up and back away from the bar. And the third exercise are the straight bar dips. This is to strengthen the pushing phase of the movement as you transition. Ensure that in the straight bar dips, you are leaning forward and bringing your chest in front of the bar. Work on these three exercises two to three times a week. Include them in your training as often as you can in as many variations as possible. And you will definitely see progress and be on your way to your first clean perfect form muscle up. Now let's move on to the second of our top three most important exercises in calisthenics, and that's the handstand. The handstand is a skill which covers the inverted anatomical body plane. Just holding a handstand alone builds phenomenal shoulder strength since there is constant load into your shoulders and scapula. Being able to master the balancing aspect of a handstand can unlock the gates to being able to perform an enormous range of strength and muscle building exercises in an inverted plane. Exercises such as handstand push-ups, 90 degree handstand push-ups, tiger bend handstand push-ups and many other variations of inverted movements similar to all of these. The three go-to exercises in order to achieve the handstand balance are the stomach to wall handstand, the single leg exchanges and the wall crawls. These three exercises are all tailored to get you strong in scapular elevation, hollow body activation, increased body awareness, fingertip and palm engagement on the floor, and wrist engagement on the bars. If you cannot yet hold a handstand, then these three exercises are definitely for you. And if you're already good at handstand balance, then put your skills to the test with this epic handstand drop set. final exercise in our top three most important exercises is the dragonfly. The dragonfly is the most important full body exercise which involves the entire body from the chest and shoulders, core, hips, down to the legs. The reason why the dragonfly can help you improve your overall performance in calisthenics is because it can be performed in both static and dynamic variations, covering both the vertical and horizontal planes. It's an extremely important exercise and serves as the base for strengthening your core and entire lower body in preparation for movements like front lever and planche. Being able to perform dragonflies comfortably and effortlessly means that you have truly understood the concept of full body engagement. So that was the end of today's tutorial on the three most important exercises in calisthenics. If you guys found value, be sure to subscribe and also hit the bell icon for notifications. We upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. European Eastern Summer Time. Before clicking out of this video, be sure to get your own wrist straps at bodystenics.com.
and to join our global family of athletes who are improving on a daily basis, send a direct message to management on Instagram today to join the first ever online calisthenics training portal. Body Senex. I'm George, Body Stenix Coach. See you guys in the next tutorial. You can do this through Body Senex.